You go to Madrid. That's more than enough. This fort will fall. We'll do the same thing. I don't think he's hiding any troops anywhere. So, let's go. You. We'll start pushing those ships out. That's hilarious to do. And we'll see it's down the entire mainland. Uh, before he starts building trips. At least 5k. If we have a fight somewhere. We can still just grab everyone. And try to you know, replenish all of that. You go there. And now we're just, just waiting. Let's see. Uh, who else took territory right now? Okay there we go. So Madrid has fallen. Actually you go take that fight. Why not? You go there. You go there. Let's wait until we got more under our belt. Otherwise this is going to be one annoying thing to do. There we go. You go there. You go here. Taking the coast. We'll have to unoccupy uh, Porto. He is moving over there. Is everyone moving? It looks like it. No, nope, there you go. You. Go there. <coughs> uh, six years ahead of time. Uh, I don't know if we want that. Have you frigates? What are we focusing on right now? Military. He is 57. Oh, come on, dude. That's way too old. Can we not get his younger cousin or whatever? Uh, do we care? Can we strengthen the government? No, but we're still over 50. This should die out. We need to stab up. Uh, we need 318. Let's keep that going. Okay, how are the colonies doing? Don't tell me you're losing because I would be very upset. You should not be losing this. And then there's no fights going on over there. Yeah, this this war is... It's no problem. Yeah, there is some, some stuff going on over there. Which is, you know... Something we'll deal with later. Uh, let's get you back over this region. You can stay over here. Because you're not taking attrition anyways. I kind of want to start deving. Let's see. That should actually help a bit of my absolutism. Leave that be. We'll have to land troops over there. We'll actually bring... Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll send these guys over there. Let's see, this is all Castile, right? So let's, um, we'll send you over here, actually. Uh, well, I now have to wait, of course. Stop. Get on boat. You bring them over. Go. Okay, how is Castile itself doing? Because we want to focus our attention on uh, Russia. Because I feel that the Russian troops should be heading over. Uh, that's 18. Yeah, that's not a big deal. Yeah, look at that. Look how Norway is doing. It's just bloody wonderful. We can return course. We can actually release some territory in Russia. Making it weaker. The Ottomans is still dangerous. Ah, <sighs> We'll get there. Now, Russia is on medium, actually. Uh, 
Right, let's go send you over. Uh, we can actually group up those armies again. Okay, so let's take a look. Do I have... 24, yeah, I think this is the 50 stack. So that's quite nice to have. Let's get everyone. Actually, let's get most of you over there. Because this actually has a supply limit of 62. And the second we see that there is a good amount of troops there, what we'll do is we'll just make sure. Why is this still ticking? Come on, dude. Unrest at least one. So it's the unrest. I just bloody treat those guys. That's so annoying. Courted country. So we... Uh, damn, that would almost mean that we have to increase the... Or we just have to spring them. It's possible, of course, just to do that. Can we do something with cultures? Not really. Ports are being blocked. Yeah, for now, because they just don't know what the hell they're doing. Let's group you guys up. Let's go over here. Let's do the 30 with. And... Actually quite surprised we're lacking a calf. Are you honestly going to be making a calf? Because I kind of don't want that. We'll not do that, since we don't need it. Uh, let's get the rest of them as well down there. So, the Castilian mainland has been sieged down. And uh, we'll focus our attention on Russia. There we go. That's one. You go over there. Actually, just go over there. And let's send that calf over as well. Let's make sure that it at least doesn't arrive first. Because that would be slightly problematic. Actually, no. Because this army is getting in there. He is going to be sandwiched. Which we don't care about. A great military leader has left us. Because, of course, why the hell wouldn't he? The hell was that? Let me take a look at my dogs here for a second, because I heard some weirdest noises. Okay, well, I'm back, guys. Sorry for that. Uh, at least it wasn't my dogs. That really makes me happy because I would really hate it if that was the case. Uh, let me do something on the sides here. Is that a car? Man, if my car sounded like that. Holy crap. Let's see.
Okay, that's all done. Let's get my audio back for me. And let's have some fun. Okay, let's take a look. That's done. We'll send those troops over here. Are the Ottomans now at peace? Oh, damn, they peaced out. They good, took a good chunk, though. So right now, as you can see, look, the manpower of the Russians is at zero. That's just gorgeous. I really need to take land from them. I really do. Uh, but first things first, you go deal with those. I don't need those rebels. Let's just still sort with unity, because that is definitely something that we need to do. Uh, can we get another idea group? Maybe like unrest. There is national unrest. Negative two. I think that would be quite wise to have, especially with this looming disaster. And I would like to go with remand power recovery speed. Let's get that out. Let's get the national unrest. Hmm, still not enough. It's now at two. So let's see if we can get an advisor. I think it is an admin advisor, actually. Get him out. Let's see if we can actually get at least a guy. Okay, so those were out. We'll have to... Whoa, Melly just got its troops over there. Interesting. We'll start sending my troops into Sweden. Because we can actually go there. And we'll move you all the way over there. Same goes with you. Although we do want to get another military leader. Yeah, we could take... Yeah, no, we'll, we'll get a new one. Here you go. Um, we'll do the same thing over here. So once you're there, that would be easier for us. But 14 heavies just sitting on its ass over here. Did, did we lose a fight? In all honesty? No, we're just building those up right now. Yeah, we're building up a massive heavy fleet. And it, it's definitely putting some stress on my economy. How's things going over here? It doesn't look good for him. Uh, the burgers will gain loyalty. Or the burgers will lose loyalty. Let's gain loyalty. Uh, let's go with the mercenary cost. We're still six years ahead of time. Let's do uh, We'll focus on this. Especially the co-creation cost will be nice. Yeah, that won't be so bad. Let's see. National unrest plus two. There we go. So we'll actually use him for a while. And now the looming disaster is out the bloody window. New technology, don't want to do that right now. So, 45. Do we get crown land? We can actually take this soon. But we do want to keep Devon. Keep Devon, that crown land. Hmm... There you go, that's more than enough. 48. Uh, we'll have to take more land away from them. Uh, we want to get up to 50. So those colonies have almost fallen. I wish that Mali would focus like on the Castilian South Africa. That would have been easier for me to handle. Uh, right now my troops are over there. Let's go send you in that direction. Overextension, how long? Uh, it's almost gone. So, the Looming Disaster is currently dying out. And there it went. So, let's split you up. Let's send you over there. Let's split you up again. Let's send you over there, region. Split you up and send you there. And then we'll deal with those 3k troops. And that's the annoying bit. We'll now have to start looking into areas where the hell they are. Uh, we're also keeping track on where those Russian troops are. And they're currently in here. So once my troops get there. Yeah we'll have to deal with that. Military tradition and the nobility will gain loyalty. Uh, no I need the burghers to gain. Oh, 
it's so painful. But I need them to be as loyal as possible right now. Because if this gets up to 73, we can finally take away more. Um, there we go. We got all of that going. That's nice. Let's so send you into this direction then. Can we just move over there? This is 6k troops. That is just... No, we don't need to do that. Just, just No, we don't need to do that. Thank you. Oh, well, we actually do need to do that. Damn. Let's go send you over there, because that makes no sense. Do not do that. And drop those 20k over there. And uh, we'll have to deal with all of these tiny, tiny ass uh, countries. And, oh, wow, I'm actually loving that he is now doing a good job at getting those tiny countries, these tiny provinces, damn islands that take forever to land on. Uh, Japan formed, actually, that's quite nice. I like that. Um, let's send you. No, you don't need to. Actually, yes, you do. Damn, I hate it that you cannot freely roam um, their lands. You know, it would have been so much easier. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, we lost. Yeah, of course, it's the heavies. There's two heavies, I think. The troops are over there. His troops are over there. Let's group you guys up. Let's group you guys up. Let's send you in that direction. Send my heavies over there. Oh, there's 32 bloody ships. Oh, what kind of fleet is this? Could you just show me, game? I would really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Because right now, this is a ghost. It actually was a ghost. I'll be damned. Uh, the Republican tradition is going to be very important that we get that up as high as possible. Hmm. And we'll just use our own troops to deal with as much of this as possible. Let's take a look how bad this looks. Actually, not too bad. Uh, the Commonwealth, did they honor the call? Ah, oh, you bastard, he didn't. Ah, I hate it. I hate it when that happens. Marley is just out of ideas right now. Uh, he will get itself back. We have way too many forts in here. Uh, we could potentially delete a large number of them. Currently, we are having 20 bloody forts. 20 of them. I might be a bit overkill though. Where are my troops? Because I feel that they're not moving anymore. And they're not. Okay, let's send these 14 over there. And that's a rather large sum. Let's see, we're getting to a thousand. Have more than 250 heavies. And an army equivalent to a million. That's not too bad. Let's, uh, let's group you guys up. And we're going to be sending you to protect ourselves in the North Baltics. Um, hunt enemy ships in the Baltic Sea. Uh, the other army. I think it's this one. Actually, you go. Just go towards that fortress. We'll keep a close eye on this. To see if they're actually moving. Let's speed up. Uh, we should actually just help our ally here with uh, the rebels. Trading in tea has been a thing. Is a thing right now. Let's go help with those rebels. And the burgers are just, you know, having the worst possible time ever. Let's go take a look in this region. So, okay, we got that covered. I want you over there. And I want to move... This guy over there. Actually, yeah, we'll send you there. While he does his thing in that region. 
and we're at 45 percent so we should soon be looking into what it is that we want uh it's definitely what we want in here are the colonies so this fella is is not going to like what i'm going to do to him so i, I would really like to get not uh, offer anything though Conquer the Mexicos and we take all of this. That's too expensive. It's probably way too expensive to do this. Maybe just take mainland. This is something we can always do. Although this will not grow a coalition, I believe. Let's see. It's no overextension, it's just aggressive expansion. It's mainly with Castile. It's getting these annoying provinces out. Like these damn islands and stuff. So the coalition right now is wow. I don't know about this. It's just a negative six on France's behalf. And France is not going to attack. Neither is Portugal. Hungary, I don't think so. Aragon is not going to do it. I think it's not too bad, actually. Okay, let's zoom in. Let's take as much of these small-ass provinces as possible. Because that's just bloody annoying. And let's take... Africa as well. So maybe not the smallest of small islands. Just make sure that we can get Africa. Like this. It's a large deal. And they still have some territory here and there. Uh, but the majority of it, it's just mainland. If they decide to attack us, they, they'll attack us. Currently, Castile is hating this. Aragon is just getting 35. And the rest is just, you know, not as much. Portugal is getting to 85 so we might see a coalition. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that will just trigger me. Uh, because we still have to take territory from the Russians. Because we're not there yet. Could you... Oh, is this actually possible? It is. Let's keep that going then. So are my troops They are currently here in the Commonwealth territories? Send you over there. Let's go over here because my troops should be landing at some point. Can we now walk over here? No, we have to travel by ship. Okay, once they are landing, there you go, they're landing and we'll send these guys. Over there and they will use those ships. Oh, look at that, Besides doing nice. Sai's, are you winning this fight? Yeah, no, actually, yeah, he is. He is winning that fight. You go, Pasai, you can do this. I don't mind you winning. Let's take a look. So, there is 63 troops currently. Uh, so, we'll keep our troops close. Send you over there. And we'll send you over there. Because I, I need to beat on, on Russia. I need to show my superiority to them. I don't think there is much that I can achieve from Russia, actually. We got a free merchant, though. Let's go into trade. Uh, we do have guys over all of this. Yes, yes. I don't necessarily need that. Yes, yes, and uh, yes. No. Do it. So this is going to be the final area in that region. And then it's off to this region. And getting all of that wonderful uh, spice trade over to the right direction. Hmm. Some of these separatists are still about to trigger. Which is annoying. I need an event that will pop this to like 63. So we can actually start taking stuff away from him. Look, the nobility non-existent, the clerisy, but the burgers are so 
so in my face right now. Uh, Russian troops in that land. Uh, I'm not going to care about that. So hopefully this fort is going to fall really, really fast. 21%. It was fully maintained though. So what gives? Uh, burgers gain loyalty and gain influence. That's not what I want. Loses loyalty and loses influence. There we go. That's that's what I need. 63. And they will take up to 55. Uh, we're getting close. Uh, let's uh, keep this game paused. So we are either going to lose 3 step. Or we'll get even less tolerance of the heresy. I kind of want to get tolerance of heresy. Because I made a mistake with this. This is way too high. We need to even it out. I think this is still good enough. Uh, it's a shame that we lost the stab though. But still, we're making 70 again, which is quite nice. And we're sieging these forts down like crazy. That's really nice. I'm not sure where those rebels spawned. Could be over here. Yes. Uh, let's send this smaller stack. Over there. So those troops landed. You go there. You guys prepare to be dropped in that region. So they should not be unoccupying this. Uh, we at least have the Mali troops to deal with that. If that were to happen. We got Russian troops here in Africa. Now that's interesting. Okay, let's go towards something that is still close. Yeah, it's not too close. But these forts are falling like crazy. And we'll go all the way over to the capital. There is 52k. Let's move in that direction. Let's see what they'll do. They probably will go for a fight. <clears throat> I would go for a fight. Um, but then again, I usually lose all of my troops. Currently they're negative two. And I kind of want a good peace deal out of this. Oh, okay. So he is going in. He's getting out. And uh, we'll reinforce this. Okay, how bad? So we get better morale. And uh, for the rest, it's, it's not good. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, okay, so, yeah, this is not looking good at all. Yeah, we're already committed. Okay, oh, we won that just... Oh, no, you bastard. Oh, yeah, we did, we did. Uh, they knocked those guys out. They definitely got a morale break on that port. We should be winning this. Oh, wow. How? How did we do that? I don't know. Seriously, don't know. What is your manpower currently? Nothing. They build up to 200,000 troops. Okay, we'll keep on going and siege and stuff down, I would say. Where's your bloody capital? Where is that capital? It's over here. That's the capital. Okay, we'll keep those armies close, but not on top of each other. And uh, we'll need to make sure that we resupply this. Let's make sure that we get full stacks. And let's do this. Get that religious unity up. Okay, that fell. Okay, let's move towards that capital. Uh, gain a base manpower or local development cost and tax modifiers. Let's gain that base manpower. Gain Republican tradition at the cost of monarch points. Yes. Because it's really important that we get monarch, uh, Republican tradition. 